there, guys and gals. Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to RimWorld Alpha 16. We're now in episode number 15. And on the last episode, actually the last episode, we make, made some great progress. We just have five more days to go before summer. Once summer hits, we are making the journey. We're getting the heck out of Dodge, because this place has been a miserable disaster right from the day one. Um, we do have some raiders coming in. <laughs> There's always raiders coming in. There's always something happening. Uh, we could build some... You know what? We might be able to build uh, a couple sandbags or something. I guess it doesn't really matter. They're coming in with hand-to-hand -hand weapons. Nah. I think we just need to get our crew out there. How far... How long until he breaks through? Uh, 207. He's still got a ways to go before he breaks through. I don't want these guys to go wandering off too far beforehand. Ah. Uh. How long will it take them to actually break through? 179? Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna bring them back. What are, we could bushwhack them from the other side, but no. We'll just wait for them to break through. Doesn't really matter at this point. It doesn't matter. Let's get let's get in position with these two guys. Bloody John did get a little bit of a bump on his head. I think he actually... Oh, yeah, he got hit by a mace. I thought he might have been shot by friendly fire, but no, he got hit by a mace. That's fine. He'll be okay in a minute. As um, soon as these guys break through, we'll go. We'll go deal with them. It's funny they're all trying to take care of a different spot, so they're not that smart. Why don't they all break through the same spot rather than try to break through multiple different spots? It doesn't make much sense, does it? Um, let's go speed two. We're gonna get Grant and well, might as well get the whole crew ready now. I think get everybody ready in position. I let's get them on this side, maybe right there. That should be good. Uh, Provo goes our hand hander, right? Yeah, Provo goes our hand hander. It's pretty dark right now, attacking in the middle of the night. Beautiful. Fire! <laughs> Ooh, look at. Oh, finally through the shields. There we go. Oh, oh, headshot. Couple more. There we go. Done. Oh, they're running. Done. Perfect. Get out of here. And I think what we'll do is we're going to build, while we've got this opened up, I think we're going to build another. How much sand? We got enough sandstone. Let's build. Um, yeah, we should have enough sandstone. Let's build another uh, wall right here. Perfect. Um, did that guy? Yeah, he's totally dead. <laughs> I'm not gonna worry about a shiv. We're just gonna leave a shiv. We are gonna take his body. You know what? We'll take all the meat we can get. I mean, if they keep showing up, providing us with more food, with more human meat. Oh, the shield's pretty good shape, actually. Um, who's our hauler? Uh, so Grant is still doing our hauling. We'll wait, wait for him to wake up. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. We're just gonna let Diver die. <laughs> speed three! Speed three! We've got four more days! Four more days before we make the journey! It has taken a long time! We've been through so much to get to this point. We just have four more days and then we can flee the heck out of here. We're not gonna bother finishing this up. As a matter of fact, we're gonna cancel... We're gonna cancel this too. Cancel this. We're not gonna bother building the rest of the rooms. It's pointless. We're not gonna build our geothermal. Pointless because we're leaving. We're getting out of here. We just need to go. You know, we've outstayed our welcome. I mean, it's it's just a matter of time before we get hit by something else absolutely massive. And that's not gonna change. It's not gonna change really. You know, we're still gonna get hit by massive things when we move to a new location. But I think we just we need a new environment. Like this is just way too cold. It's barren. There's no animals. Um, there's lots of reasons why we need to move. Besides that, we're actually not that far away from some boreal forest. Like we're actually quite close. And if we go down here, we're not that far away from the the flag either. So I mean, maybe maybe five six good journeys and we'll be there maybe maybe seven <laughs> it's quite a ways it's quite a ways i mean it's really ambitious to try and go for that but if we can make it to that spaceship that would be really fantastic you know what i mean like that would be really great um oh we're out of room okay so we need more storage space let's get that down uh doesn't really matter at this point we'll just fill her up fill her up get as much as we can out of this um oh you're uh, what are you oh you're hauling components oh there's components over here oh Really? Uh, okay. You know what? How are we doing for components? We've got 36, so maybe we will try to harvest these as well. Harvest the rest of that. Harvest the rest of that. Perfect. And we've got everything from those scythers. I think we're in pretty good shape, guys. We're actually... This is great. I can't believe we made it this far, to be honest with you. I just... I can't believe it. Ooh, a silver base. Yeah, we want that for sure. Another silver base. Ooh, maybe... What was this uh, shiv? Oh, it's, it's uranium. Yeah, we'll take that too. That's worth decent money. Um, minor break risk. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Until we're done with all of the human corpses, like, 
breaking down all the human, human corpses. Everybody's going to have the negative mood lift. Fortunately, Walker's actually in okay shape, thanks to the Joywire. Still very upset, upset that uh, whatever died one season and two days to get over that. That's a long time if you think about it. Super long. It's very dark in here, isn't it? I wonder if we should maybe add some light while we're working. You know, just add a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of happiness uh, for our guys. Let's maybe get a light rated here. Let's get a light here. Uh, mental break food binge. That's not good. Who is that? Oh, Terry Perry's having a food binge break. That's not good. Hopefully she eats a lot of pemmican. Oh, she's sleeping. Perfect. Maybe that gives her more time to get over it. Perfect. Actually, because she went right to bed, she might be over it already. Food binges are really bad when you don't have a lot of food to start with. Um... But people, I, you know what? I never expected people to be very happy in this colony, uh, but I expected to get a few more breaks than what we've had, considering, you know, well, once they start eating some of the human meat, that's not going to make them very happy either. <laughs> of course. Um, all right. All right. We're starting to make some pemmican. How much pemmican do we have? 432. And we did set that for unlimited, I believe. Uh, make pemmican forever. Yes. Yeah, so, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. We're going to use up as much as we can. Three days to go. What can happen in three days? Oh, God. <laughs> Anything can happen in three days. Oh, we just need to get the rest of the food up, and then we're gone. We're gone. Once it's spring, um, let's see. Where are we going to go here? I think we'll try and make it into this boreal forest. That's like... It's only a few days' journey. We'll try and go as far south as we possibly can with whatever food that we've got. Now, we may actually even suffer some breakdowns while we're traveling. Which, I don't know, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with a... Oh, a skate pod. Yeah, do I want more people? More people carry more stuff, though. Giggles! <laughs> it's a great name, too. Giggles, what's Giggles like? Medicine, growing... Eh. Night Owl, too smart. No, incapable of social cooking, firefighting, and mining. I don't think so. Sorry, Giggles. You can laugh yourself away to death. Sorry. We could rescue him just for fun. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> such a pain um grant oh uh, that's fine um grant go ahead and rescue just rescue we're that we're just gonna rescue her if she happens to come over great oh somebody's begging for safety a uh, low-wage worker named xavier wade great name though who's being chased by the executioner arming 61 years old i ignore the message <laughs> wade screams in panic as the tiny speaker before you cut off the transmission sorry sorry it's not happening oh we've got gun turrets fantastic uh let's see do we want to research something before we go uh let's go for refining would be good uh refining will let us get fuel so that we can build pods to transport that's not bad either i like that idea it's something we should start working on let's do transport pods first doesn't really matter um, yeah, let's do transport pods first. Um, yeah, they're great. Uh, you can build transport pods. You just have to fill them up with gasoline. And you build gasoline with either organics like food stuff or wood. And you can get uh, methanol, essentially. And you can launch the pods and travel that way. But it's kind of a one-time deal. And it's really expensive. It is really expensive. It requires a lot of time and materials to make happen. I, You know, I'm tempted to make to do that but I, I don't know we don't have a lot of wood here that's a problem you need a lot of wood or food to make that happen so I just don't think we have that okay yeah they're still continuing to grab some more of those components hey the, the game hasn't exploded for the last 10 minutes oh never mind electric, electric stove breaks <laughs> perfect fix the stove guys we'll let Walker do some uh, do some butchering here sure <laughs> there's an endless supply of human meat like, really, we're not going to starve. We might go mad. We might go freaking crazy, but we're not going to starve. <laughs> oh, there we go. Beautiful. So that's the rest. The last of the human bodies. Oh, disease and disease. Uh, disease. Giggles has gotten sick from infection. That's fine. Uh, no, dis no medicine for Giggles, please. Uh, doctor care, but no medicine. Yeah, if you, if you want to keep her healthy, that's fine. But I'm not. We're not spending it any resources on her um we could try oh she gets food okay so we can't try and recruit her as a guest there is mods there's a hospitality mod which i really like that allows you to recruit guests and stuff but no we're, I, I wouldn't i wouldn't want try to recruit her anyway because yeah that seems that's kind of wasteful at this point um oh i see okay so keep working on that pemmican so we're up to 522 i'd like to have at least two three thousand pemmican to go 
So it, for every pemmican meal, I think it's like they have to eat like 15 or 20 or something. They have to eat quite a bit of pemmican to get filled up for a meal. And they're going to be very unhappy as they eat it because it's got human meat in it. <laughs> A lot of human meat in our pemmican, so they're going to be quite upset about the the journey. I'm I'm suspecting that there's going to be a little bit of crazy in the journey. I guess we have to make our stockpile zone a little bit bigger here. It's getting a little outrageous, actually. It's okay. Whoops. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I made them into different zones. Didn't mean to do that. We're almost out of here. Two more days. Two more days, and then we get to go. I can't wait to leave this bloody place. Uh, we could pack up the full batteries, too. That's not a bad idea. Oh, oh, that's a really good idea. I think we can take full batteries. I don't know how heavy they are. Does it say? Mast one. Oh, they're quite big. I don't know if we'll... We might be able to take one. That'd be kind of nice to have a battery to place down right away so we can get some heat or whatever. That's actually not a terrible idea. Um, cause if we, we, I think if we take them full, they'll be full when we get there too. So yeah, we might just do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's heavy though. 20 kilograms. That's a lot of food in place of that. That's okay. Uh, going speed three. It's taken forever. Oh, day. Oh, another days. Days are okay. Actually a mental, any, a mental break. If you get a daze, that's fine. Or, or it's locked in room or something. Oh no. <gasps> Oh, no. Okay, so. Oh, they sealed this up. That's why. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so. So, this, this room got too warm. It is two degrees outside. It's nine degrees in here because they're venting in heat in here. We're losing some of our food. So, um, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to make this a... Uh, no roof area. They roofed this off. I didn't expect them to roof that off. Of course they would, though. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, we need to get somebody uh, dealing with that roof then. Remove roof area, please. That'll cool it off right away. And then we need to get this cooler built. Partai's working on cooler. What's Provogo's construction? Ooh, only one. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Just work on it. <laughs> Even if he fails, that's fine. It's fine. We'll lose a few components and stuff, but that's okay. Point is, we just need to get this built. On roof, that should work. Ah, failed. Okay, so let's get uh, Grant. Grant, can you finish off the cooler, please? Provo, go just do something else. <laughs> Useless. Fail. Fail. Prioritize working on cooler. We're never going to get this other construction uh, component on the other side, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Finish that off. Excellent. Perfect. Now we have a cooler. Let's lower the temperature. Connect uh, Let's bring the temperature down to minus nine. That's perfect. Perfect. Now we're going to get this cooled off. Oh, we lost almost all of that human meat. Oh, I... Uh, so dumb. <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> I screwed that up. Man. Okay, it's starting to cool off now. Uh, such a waste, because that human meat, it's so costly, and if you think about it, so costly. We're down to 755, so I think we lost about 500 human meat there. That's not good. Not good at all. Oh, well, that's okay. That's okay. We're still okay. You know what? It's, it's, sometimes, sometimes I make little mistakes, and, you know, <laughs> it can lead to big problems. That's the thing with RimWorld. All it takes is a little mistake, and you end up screwing yourself, <laughs> like, really badly. Uh, that's okay. We're, I think we're going to be all right. Uh, we still, we're going to have at least a couple thousand pemmican to make the journey. We've got another crop coming due very quickly here. It's the 14th day of spring, which means we only have one more day to go before we can do the big move. As long as the game doesn't explode in the next, you know, 10 minutes, we're going to be fine. And we're going to start to make that journey. I'm pretty excited, actually. I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. As far as what we're going to bring with us, I was kind of hoping that we'd have an opportunity to sell something. We never did build a... Uh, communications relay, so we weren't we weren't able to trade with uh, traders traveling above us, like in space and stuff. But that's okay. Uh, starvation. Who's starving? Uh, Terry Perry. Somebody feed Terry Perry, please. <laughs> please. How many components? We're up to 51 components. That's a pretty good start for a base. I'm pretty happy with that. We might break down the research station. We'll get a little bit more from that too. I don't want to spend too much time. When it turns summer, I just want to go. Uh, we could... You know what? I'm going to start packing up batteries. Uh, oh, these batteries lost power. Oh, right. These batteries are using the power from the other thing. Oh, man. Okay. So we might as well attach those now. Power. Let's attach these two batteries. 
There, <laughs> the cooler is using the power from the batteries. Whoops. <laughs> so these were totally full and now they're not totally full. Let's get uh, Provo Go. I think you're good enough to build this power conduit. Go ahead and do that. Perfect. And uh, harvest the crop. Excellent. More food. Perfect. Um, we're at 409 rice. I have to keep track of this. This is really important. Um, five, uh, 792 pemmican. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. Oh, we've got another body to work with. Giggles died. <laughs> sorry, Giggles. I'm sorry. <laughs> we didn't really pay much attention to you. I, you know what? It, it happens. The infection took, took her, took her life. We didn't give her any medicine. We just kind of let her die. It's, we are not good people. <laughs> We're just generally not good people. It's not that, uh, you know, if, if we happened, if she happened to come over to our side, I would have been okay with it because it would have been an extra body to carry stuff. But on the other side of it, she can't do, she couldn't do a lot of stuff anyway. So she dies, whatever, just more meat, more, more. She's, we're gonna have giggle stew, giggle stew later on. Oh, it sounds terrible. <laughs> Doesn't sound very appealing at all. Uh, how much time do we have left? Uh, I think we've still got a few more minutes, which is... Oh, yeah, we still got lots of time. We might even get... Oh, it's the 15th day of spring. Last day. So one more day and we are leaving. After this, we go into summer and then we can actually move through the, uh, the terrain fairly quickly. I'm super excited. Where's all the bad guys? We haven't been attacked this episode. What's going on? Something's wrong with RimWorld, guys. RimWorld is broken. It stopped attacking me for like two seconds so that we could get some stuff done. I'm super pleased with that. Um, 972 Pemmican. Working our way up. Almost there, almost there. All of this pemmican has human meat. <laughs> yeah, ingredients, human meat and rice. Mmm, yummy. Insect meat, rice, and fox meat. Oh, human meat, rice, and insect meat. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love it. What's for dinner? Well, we've got some Bob, some Jerry, a little bit of Jim. And do you want a side of Mary with that? Sure, sure. Oh, combat supplier from uh, Strongly. Cool, we might be able to sell some of this stuff before we go. That'd be great. Uh, oh, they're coming in that way. That's fine. Perfect. Actually, it's good timing. Good timing because we leave tomorrow. Uh, if we can sell some of these old clothes and stuff, that'd be really splendid. Even some old weapons and stuff because we're, you know, we're not going to be taking a lot of that stuff either. All right, Walker, uh, before you have a nap, uh, come talk to this guy. Trade with Tail. All right, we're going to sell... All of the mortar shells. How much money do they have? 1946, hey? Are we going to sell steel longsword, silver mace, plasteel knife? We're going to keep the plasteel gladius. We're going to sell the steel mace. The Ah, we'll keep this, the silver mace. Sorry, we're going to keep the silver mace. We're going to... Oh, no. We'll, we'll sell the silver mace, keep the plasteel mace. Uh, the uranium shiv we'll get rid of... Sniper rifle... No, we're gonna hang on to those. We're gonna take those with us, I think. We'll get rid of the poor one. That's that's a fair compromise. Assault rifle, good. We'll hang on to that. Okay, and all of the clothing is going. Anything with a D on it is going. This will clear up our inventory nicely, actually. Very nicely. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, done, done, done. Uh, those vests, yeah, I guess we'll get rid of those vests, that's fine. Um, so parka, done, done. Anything with a D is going, perfect. We'll keep this cloth duster, because it's regular. I, I, oh no, that's that's there, sorry. We can't we can't sell what we don't own. Um, personal shields, we'll get rid of some of those too. Boom lever, oh, the parka, that is a good one though. Actually, that's really good. That doesn't have a D on it either. Same with the goat hide jacket. Oh, that's not ours. Uh, Synthrid jacket, personal shields, we'll keep those too. Those look pretty good. They also don't have a D on it. Emu leather parka, we'll keep that. Oh, perfect. This is great. Actually, we're getting rid of a lot of crap. We'll get rid of these. D, 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 and how much money is that? 1132, so we still got a little bit more to go. Okay, now is there anything that we can buy? Do they have any food? They do have components, they have some medicine. We're currently at 36 medicine. Uh, we'll take whatever they have for medicine. We're gonna take... We'll take their components. And we'll keep those shields. I think that's good. It's too bad they didn't have any food. Oh, that would have been great. Oh, we can get rid of these too. Whoops, uh, some more of those, perfect. And good, good trade. Look at how that cleaned up our uh, our area. That's fantastic. Awesome. So it's 12 noon. It is noon and by 
midnight. Well, we'll let them sleep through the night. So tomorrow morning, we are leaving from this place. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We're going to get out of here, finally. So they're still collecting some stuff that's been kicking around here. Oh, yes, yeah, more of those components. Well, I just Components are probably the most important thing next to food. I definitely want to take some wood with us. Actually, no, wood won't be necessary, especially if we make it to the boreal forest, right? We should be okay in that scenario. Major break risk. That's Provago. Has she been eating human meat yet? Um, dead man's parka. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, we can replace that parka. You can wear this one. There, now it's not a dead man's parka. You're wearing a dead man's toque, too. That's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, we could maybe get rid of that toque. That's fine. That's fine for now. I think we have another good parka kicking around. We've got an emu leather parka that's not from a dead person. Um... Provo go. Hold on. Grant. Terry Perry. Terry Perry. What's uh, gear? You're wearing you've got a hyperweave jacket. I'd rather you wear a parka because it's, well, it's going to be nice for summer, actually. That's fine. That'll be fine. Yay! We're almost there, guys. Where is the attack? I'm oh, breakup. Oh, no. <gasps> Jaunt and Grant, Grant are no longer in a relationship. That is not good. Does that mean we have to separate them in the bed, or does it do it automatically? Bloody John. So now it's just Bloody John's bed. That's fine. Uh, Bloody John and Grant. So Bloody John is probably going to be super unhappy. Um, feeling bad. Oh, hold on. Wasn't it Bloody John and Grant? I'm pretty sure it was. I can't keep track of these people anymore. Your relationships, all this stuff. Um, maybe he's not going to be that upset. He's not actually that upset. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Um, summer! It's summer! So we're leaving first thing in the morning! Oh, yes! <laughs> Whatever, even if even if it's not all cooked, we're gonna take it. If they have to eat raw human meat, that's what we're gonna have to do, but I need to get out of here. We could wait until something really bad happens and then go, but I think we're just better off just, you know, cutting, cutting our losses at this point. We're not really cutting our losses, but just getting out of here now. Sooner the better, um, but we'll wait. It, oh, it's four, four in the morning? Oh, everybody is... Okay, five. Okay, let's get out of here. It's time. Okay, here we go. We are packing up. It's been a while since I've done this. I haven't been playing lately, so uh, form caravan. There we go. So we're gonna form. We're gonna bring everybody, and we're gonna bring all the pemmican, all the human meat, all the lynx meat, all the corn, all the rice, all the components. We're not gonna bring the cloth. We're gonna bring all the medicine. If we, if we have room to bring some extra stuff later, great. Oh. Really? That's it. That's all we can bring. <gasps> okay, we're not going to bring all the medicine. You know what? Maybe we'll, we won't bring so many components. They're not that heavy. I guess the food is that heavy. Wow. And that's with all of the people. Wow. Okay. We're not going to be able to bring very much at all. So let's get rid of these four. We'll just bring our 26 medicine stuff that we had before. So that gives us 10 kilograms extra. That's not much. We're going to bring our silver. Silver. Ooh, that is close. That's it. That's all we can carry. And that's not even all our silver. Oh. You know what? Maybe how, how long can we go? So that's 15.7 days of food. Let's not take all the human meat with us. Let's take 0.2 kilograms for the pemmican. The pemmican, I mean, that's way more efficient. We could wait a day and just cook off the rest of the pemmican into human meat, or cook off the human meat into pemmican. That's not a terrible idea. Uh, where's our meals? We didn't bring our meals either. Oh, and that doesn't include any of that stuff too. So, ugh. Or the scyther blades. Oh boy. Well, I wonder if we didn't take any human meat. So that's still 12 days of food. And that gives us a little bit more room to take our silver at the very least. Silver. We need to take our Persona Core because that's pretty light. And the Scyther Blade. Ooh, a little heavy. No. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Um, let's... We might as well go back to the... To these guys, are they leaving? Oh no, we missed them. Walker, can you get to them? Where is Walker? Trade! No, he's gone. Okay, forget it. Okay, it's 
It's time to go. We've got to go. World, form caravan. Everybody's going. We, we just can't, we can't carry very much. Oh, well, so we're going to take all the pemmican. We're going to take all the, we're going to leave the lynx meat. We're going to take the corn, the rice. D don't we have any meals? I thought we had some meals too. I guess, I guess there's no meals available right now. Persona core. We're going to take all the silver. We're going to take some of the medicine. None of that. The components, we're going to take the 57 components. Whoops, not the muffalo wool. What, 57 components. That leaves us at 174.81. That's with all the silver. And we've got 12.1 days of food. That should be enough to get us quite a ways, I think. And we're going to leave everything else. That's it. That's it. That's all we got. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's pack it up and let's go. I feel like we're going to be missing something really important here, but... You know what? We gotta do what we gotta do. Pack it up. Alright, pack everything up, guys. We are leaving. We're heading out. Grab all the goodies. Grabbing everything. The way they go. Woohoo! We're leaving! <laughs> uh, we didn't take a battery. We didn't take any of that. It's just way too heavy. Well, I really would have liked some muffalo to go for the journey, because muffalo are, are excellent pack animals. Same with dromedaries. Muffalo and dromedaries are excellent pack animals. It's the only two pack animals I know about in the game. But uh, yeah, so we're going on a big journey. We are leaving this place. We're never coming back. So we did a little bit of research here. We got some food and uh, we bailed. That's it. Grant, Walker, everybody's ready to go. Ta-da! Onto the world map. We're going to pause it here for a second. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have time for today. We're going to come back and we're going to start our journey. And I wonder, actually, before we go, I wonder how far... How far can we go here? How long would that take us? Five days? So we could probably make it... We could make it all the way down to here. Right near a pirate base. Uh, if we make it all the way down to this... Yeah, that's what we need to do. So anything can happen in this journey. Absolutely anything. We could get bushwhacked. People could go crazy. Of course, we're going to be eating human meat on the journey too. So that, this could make them very unhappy. It's a very risky move, but we're going to go. And that's actually quite a distance. I love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have time for today. We will see you next time for more RimWorld. We're still alive. Yay, we're still alive. And we're making the journey to, uh, <laughs> to a better place. Better climate zone too. All right, take care, guys. Bye, bye, bye.